Hello, my name is Meg Novella, and I'm a resident pharmacist at St. Joseph East. I would like to talk to you today about medication safety. First, where do you keep your medicines? Are they in different places, with some in the medicine cabinet, some in the kitchen, and some in the bedroom or elsewhere? As a parent, grandparent, or family member, it's important that you organize and keep track of your medicines. After all, you will want to know where a particular medicine is when you or someone else needs to find it. And you will want to keep your medicine secure so that a child or a teenager or even a stranger does not get into them. That way, you can help prevent an accidental injury as well as do your part to stop the possible abuse of prescription medicines. The first step in getting organized is to take a look at all the medicines that you have. You should try to do this type of inventory at least every six months or at least once a year. Start by checking the expiration date on the bottle. You don't want to take any chances when a medicine that no longer works the way it's supposed to. Also, look for medicines that are discolored, dried out, crumbling, or show other signs that, are, that they are past their prime. Check the expiration date for eye drops and ear drops too. They may no longer be effective and worse, could be breeding ground for bacteria or fungus. In addition, look for leftover prescription medicines from a previous illness or condition. You will want to discard these since you should never try to treat yourself or anyone else with a prescription medicine. Your symptoms might seem similar to what you had before, but the cause could be different or the medicine may not be the right one this time around. Hello, my name is Christine Swank and I'm a pharmacy resident in St. Joseph East. Proper disposal of prescription medicines. Federal guidelines encourage customers to one, take unused, unneeded, or expired prescription drugs out of their original containers and throw them in the trash. Two, mixing prescription drugs with an undesirable substance, such as used coffee grounds or kitty litter, and putting them in impermeable, nondescript containers, such as empty cans or sealable bags, will further ensure the drugs are not diverted. Three, flush prescription medications down the toilet only if the label or accompanying patient information specifically instructs doing so. Four, take advantage of community pharmaceutical take-back programs or community solid waste programs. Where these programs exist, they are a good way to dispose of unused pharmaceuticals. Also, we'll talk about storage of your medications. Now that you've identified the medicines that you want to keep, the next step is to find a safe place to keep them. You want to store your medicines in an area that is convenient, but is also cool and dry, since heat and humidity can damage the medicines. That's why a bathroom is not a good place to keep your medicines, unless you are able to keep the room well ventilated. However, the bathroom medicine chest is an ideal place to keep items such as bandages, tweezers, gauze, cotton balls, scissors, and other products that aren't affected by heat or humidity. Patient information and education. Lock up your medicines. If there are children around, you might want to find an area where you can lock up your medicines. A cabinet or a drawer with a lock on it would work. It's also an excellent idea to lock up any controlled substances that have been prescribed for you. These include medications such as hydromorphone or Dilaudid, oxycodone, oxycontin or Percocet, hydrocodone, Vicodin, and Alprazolam, Xanax. The theft and abuse of prescription medicines is a serious problem. You play a big role in keeping these powerful medications out of the hands of those who shouldn't have them. Since it is dangerous as well as illegal for anyone but you to use a controlled substance prescribed for you, a locked storage area can help keep a stranger or someone else from gaining access to them. Now I'll give you some suggestions that can help you be smarter about storing and using your medications. First of all, keep your medicines separate from those of your spouse or other family members. For instance, on a different shelf or at least on a separate side of the shelf. This will make it less likely that you take the wrong ones by mistake. Secondly, you may find it helpful to have a countertop or tabletop near where you keep your medicine so you can open the bottle with it resting on the flat surface. In case you drop your pill, it will land on the tabletop and not be lost down the drain or on the floor. But be sure not to leave your medicine bottles out on the counter afterwards. Third, good lighting near where you store your medicines will help you make sure that you're taking the right medicine. Never take the medicines in the dark. Number four, keep the medicine in the bottle that it came in. The amber color actually protects the medicine from the light. You will also have the information right there about the medicine and how often to take it. The label will also have the phone number of the pharmacy so you can call when it is time for a refill. Furthermore, never mix different medicines in the same bottle you might end up taking the wrong one by mistake. It is also possible that one of your medications could rub off on another and affect how well it works. 
Number six, keep the lids on your pill bottles tightly closed. A cap can be childproof if it's not fastened correctly. Number seven, if there is a cotton in the pill bottle, when you first open it, remove the cotton and throw it away. The cotton can absorb moisture and affect the medicine that is inside of it. Keep an updated medication list. When visiting a physician's office or going to the hospital, it is important to keep an updated list of your current medications on hand. The list should include the medication's name, strength, dose, directions for use, when it was started, and drug allergies. Also include any over-the-counter medicines and herbal supplements that you may be taking. Update your list frequently and keep it in your purse or wallet at all times.